when we heard that we get exchange students from Croatia, we were very happy that we can meet you now in person. And that's a pleasure to get to know such a sympathetic girl like you. <laughs> Thank you. And you know that our project is an interview about intercultural communication. But first, and we want to learn something about you. Um, could you tell us something about you, your life in Croatia, your studies, maybe your dream in the future? Okay, so I was born in Osijek. Most of my life I live in the city. But I moved a lot, so it was less something about 11 times in my life. So this is kind of a thing that uh, from which I learn about differences uh, from the very um, early age. Mm -hmm. So I met a lot of interesting people and see a lot of uh, different places. Mm -hmm. So I study multimedia at the um, Academy of uh, Arts and Culture. Um, I'm on the fourth year. And I don't know my plans for the future because I don't like to plan things, so mm -hmm. I just go with the flow. So I have dreams, of mm -hmm. course, but uh, I don't like to put some high expectation on yeah. myself because I don't like to be... Um, uh, to get... Yeah, to be... Um, how does it called? Structured, or what I... not structured, but um, fixed in... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what yeah. So, I don't know, I see myself in uh, 3D because mm -hmm. this is the, the thing that I'm into right mm -hmm. now. Or maybe some kind of design, uh, interior, exterior, so mm -hmm. this is like the, the thing that yeah. I'm into right now. But it sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you always creative when you were a child or when did you discover your creativity? Um, actually, I think all my life. Mm -hmm. As was I was told, like um, mm -hmm. um, actually I have like an early memory of myself when I was two. Mm -hmm. I was like uh, painting and drawing something with my mother. Mm -hmm. So I remember the feeling that I really enjoyed mm -hmm. uh, doing something with my hands. Mm -hmm. To so, be practical. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that most of my life because I um, grew up in a very creative family. Uh, both of my parents are some kind of artists, so. This is like the family thing, so... Mm -hmm. mm, that's cool, my grandpa is also great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we talked on Monday that one of our ho hobbies is also traveling through the world. And you have seen a lot of countries like Spain, Romania, Hungary, Austria, Switzerland, and a lot of more, and Italy. And your absolutely favorite country. And, when fa and what fascin fascinates me is that, um, that you worked five times in the news. Mm, but now you had the opportunity to, to discover to Stuttgart and what was your first impressions? Can you describe it? I have here some papers, maybe okay. you can scribble it. Okay, oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. Um, this, is, this would be weird because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I usually judge um, country by coffee. Mm -hmm. So this was my first, very first experience. Uh, impression what of Stuttgart. <laughs> I bought a coffee, so coffee. <laughs> I bought a coffee because um, when I arrived on the airport, mm. I didn't drink a coffee yeah. that day, so I bought a very expensive coffee, but it was a good coffee. Okay. So that it was, was my worth next question: it. Was it delicious or what yeah, color? yeah? <laughs> so this was like my first, very first mm -hmm. impression. Uh, my second first mm -hmm. impression mm -hmm. was uh, actually the the university, so the people mm -hmm. that I uh, met, so people were so very nice and uh, open-minded. Okay. So I really enjoyed your company and I also liked the uh, thing when we were sitting on the grass also mm -hmm. drinking coffee, mm -hmm. because coffee <laughs> is my thing. So, I don't know, I liked the Stuttgart mm -hmm. for very first Yeah. But, yeah, so I will show <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And um, have you seen similarities or contrarieties to your country and Croatia? Uh, but, but mostly similarities, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, because the culture is not that uh, far away from Croatia. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, so I don't uh, see a lot of differences mm -hmm. here. Are there some favorites you discovered in our hometown? Uh, the art, mm -hmm. because um, you have a lot of galleries mm -hmm. and museums. That's the thing that in Croatia is not that um, much. Mm -hmm. 
but um, I like the uh, the people and um, their observation of art. Like they are um, mostly open-minded when it comes to the art. So mm -hmm. this is the thing that I like more here than in Croatia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited what you will um, say later if we go to the gallery from our yeah. city because it's very big and also creative and the architecture is special. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. um, now we, um, we want to talk about your art and um, you bring us picture with you mm -hmm. and um, could you explain us what you would like to express, what feelings do you evoke up in, in me when I watch your work? Okay, so the the picture uh, with the woman, uh, with the um, woman yeah, with, with the a girl, girl and a yes. grown-up mm -hmm. man. So the name is uh, the balance mm -hmm. uh, because um, I made a series of this uh, photography, and uh, I wanted to make a balance between uh, genders. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like it's a um, femi feministic work, but it's actually not. This is more like a um, personal work. Mm -hmm. It has some like elements of feminism, but it's more like uh, paying the dues to myself, to that little girl that still lives inside of me. So I wanted to make a balance between the differences in like a physical, um, emotional, intelligent mm -hmm. way on different kinds of uh, levels. So I made them the same size, so um, the difference in their height uh, represent the differences in all kinds of uh, mm -hmm. levels and forms. Yeah. So, making them the same size, I made them like equal, mm -hmm. like truly equal. So it's more like um, being the deuce to myself mm -hmm. that um, I experienced those differences when I from very first a year of my life. Yeah. So I wanted to make the balance to myself and. It's so cool. I have seen it and I was. Very fascinated. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So now we come to our main topic of this interview, or about our project. Um, yeah. Therefore, we should have a look at the cultural dimension from Gerd Hochstädter. For example, he worked out in a study with 110,000 IBM employees that there are different main dimensions. And now my question, question to you is, um, if you think of your country, what would you spontaneously say does fit this with Croatia? Um, by the first point, it's uh, masculine or feminine? Mm -hmm. I would say that, uh, in one hand, it's mm -hmm. um, very masculine, but on the other hand, it's extremely uh, feminine. So mm -hmm. um, it's a mix of those two terms, I would mm -hmm. say. Okay. Then collectivism or individualism? I think more collectivism because like um, people are really connected. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there is some kind of um, collective mind mm -hmm. that like uh, uh, keeps yeah, the, the group society group. together. Yeah, to be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, short term or long term orientated? Uh, definitely uh, there is a low power distance. Oh no, no, I'm short, short term, term orientated, yeah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> no I was looking at the first and I was thinking. Mm, I would say short term orientated because um, this is, um, I don't know how things work right now in Croatia, but there are more and more people who are thinking in a long term. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's a 50-50. Yeah, and you? I'm I'm personally long term already, mm. so mm. yeah, me I'm the same. Also, I'm also future orientated. Yeah, mm. I don't think about the future, but I would say yeah, yeah, but this this thing I'm in long term oriented. Mm. Okay. Low power distance or high power distance? Uh, I would say again, it's a fifty fifty. So mm -hmm. Mm. okay. Mm. Then low uncertainty avoidance or high uncertainty avoidance? Oh, we are trying to control the future, but it's uh, definitely <laughs> not uh, something you can control. So mm. everything is spontaneous in Croatia, like <laughs> that's how we function. <laughs> yes. And um, thank you for your confidence and your honesty. And this was not too easy to answer. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I would like to end this video with a funny question, like, um, what stereotypes do you have about German? Oh. Because um, we all think we know that the Italians speak with hands and <laughs> the French people eat frogs. Yeah, and horses. Oh, you should, like you make a lot of party. Oh, don't record this. And I don't know if this is true, but um, I hear it. I'm interested. What is? Uh, what do you say about us? Oh, well, um, I personally don't have like the stereotypes, mm -hmm. but I could uh, maybe say uh, general ones that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, from perspective in Croatia, from uh, Croatian people, mm -hmm. the stereotypes about Germans are like um, you have a lot of money, you, uh, you work all the time, yeah, like you don't true. have a free yeah, time, yeah, yeah. and maybe that you are very smart. This is like a, some global, global mm -hmm. stereotype about Germans, so uh, every time when I uh, watch some movie or series, mm -hmm. I can see like um, every um, every invention was by Germans, so mm -hmm. this is some kind of stereotype in global. Okay. I think yeah. like something like we wear socks in sandalettes, yeah. or we drink a lot of beer, I don't know, something like yeah, that. But, but if like, it's nice, if you yeah. it, it's... Okay. But like my, my, my personal stereotype would be like, um, I thought that Germans were boring, so, so you're not boring. <laughs> okay. This was like... Little Only bit. if I feel tired. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you for your interview. It was a pleasure to meet you and to spend time together. It was very nice. And yeah, I hope it was interesting also for you. Yeah, and it maybe, was. <laughs> and maybe we see you again, maybe in Venice. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely in Venice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And then we took a little bit of coffee. Yeah. <laughs>